Damn, son, where'd you find this? guys welcome back uh well we're up the creek today as you can see and it's been a bloody good morning so far it is just turned from the top of the tide starting to run out now and we did get in this morning on the low we've had a little bit of a play uh, around with some threadies and then moved along had some fun out the front of the creek and now we've just snuck back up in and we've been doing a little bit of snag bashing do have a fair bit of blood on the deck we have caught a few fish so it's been pretty good i have been a bit slack doing the intro today so Getting close to the end of the session, we've probably only got about 40 minutes left, but I'm going to skip back to some fishing and uh, hopefully pull a few more fish out of these. this little section. Stay tuned. All right, first spot for the day. We're just waiting for this tide to start to come in so we can sneak out the front. It's uh, a little bit low at the moment, and uh, we have found a few threadies here. You can sort of start to see some coming onto the screen just on the back of this rock bar, which is those guys there. There's two fish, another one. All these little black highlights here are going to be fish. So you can see them all there. They're all threadies. So we're just gonna um, get the light rod out and give that a little bit of a crack, but I'm just gonna drive down a little bit further because there seemed to be a few more when we drove up and scanned it. But uh, I reckon there's enough fish there to justify staying for at least half an hour before we sneak out the front of this creek and do some snag bashing. If this really does come alive and goes good, we're probably just gonna stay. Um, and smack threadies because why not here we go a couple of nice pictures there you can see the fork tails in the fish not really a highlight on these ones because they're sitting real low close to the bottom but uh yeah there's heaps of fish spread right through here so we'll pull up here and spot lock just behind them and give them a bit of a crack and creep up and see how we go all right so that tide's just changed it's probably not ideal where we're sitting we probably should go upstream a little bit more but it's not enough run here yet to justify so we'll give this maybe 10 minutes before we reevaluate our position just got the little light rod that's the 700 Caden, little 2500 vanford and uh 10 pound sunline assegai got a 30 pound oh i just had a bite already first cast sunline uh assegai on there and then that 30 pound in the stretchy fluoro I've been running lately in that purple packet so it's got a little 100 mil samaki vibalicious on little fork tail bit of a softer vibe been having to play with these lately they've been pretty nice so surely the freddies will like it that's in there but yeah there's a couple of rocks just out the front here so just got to watch out for cod probably what bit me to be honest just giving it two little short lifts what just picked me up <laughs> and that's how easy it is <laughs> I did not even feel a bite then. <laughs> okay, it was that second cast of the morning. It's all right. Did say we we're gonna catch fish today. Do you wanna grab that net, Dave? Right. You got him? <laughs> I think we're gonna need a bigger net. <laughs> Stitch up. <laughs> oh, don't go under there, mate. He's not bad. First one of the morning. 
He's definitely legal. Chuck him on the deck there, bro. Cheers. There he is. First little one for the morning. Not bad. Probably about for high 60s or something. Probably would say he'd be legal, but we're not keeping fish today. Go on, mate, before I get eaten. Come on. Most gentle release you'll ever see. <laughs> Alright, he chafed me leader up a little bit that one, so I'll just tie it back on. Nice just a blood knot. Being that lazy, I've left a splitty on there, but I'm just running the little BKK, that's them little clips. Um I know everyone's been going to the shops looking for them. They're not available in Australia yet. They won't be far away. Um, I'm just doing a bit of testing to make sure they're holding up and they've been pretty good so far. That's the lure there, little um, 100 mil Samaki, Fibalicious in the fork tail and in the Cleopatra colour. But reasonably clean water. It's not f filthy, but it's not, it's not clean, but it's not dirty, I guess, is the words I'm looking for. But um, yeah, I just figured this little brighter colour would stand out a bit in this sort of semi-dirty stuff so we'll give that another crack that's about where I was I'm pretty sure we did scan a whole bunch of fish sitting out in the middle so he's um he's come from that school I'd say but yeah same thing it's that little short sharp like put a bit of power into them little hops with the lure just to call the fish from a bit of a distance and then follow down with your rod tip as you're letting it sink. Get back up there. See this bubble line's the first proper push of the tide. So we'll definitely be right to get out the front but these things are pretty fun. Worth staying if they're, if they're biting. Oi, Davo's on. Oh, on the little light rod too. <laughs> You're getting pistled. What was that on, a little plastic? No, 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 on a, um, a pointer. Um, I'll drop off spot roll. You hit hard. <laughs> you came from a mile. <laughs> the little white rod. What do you, what do you reckon? Oh, maybe a little GT or something. So. No, oh, yeah. Are you working hard? Hey. Working it fast? Yeah. Bluey. Bluey. All spot lockers again. There's heaps of fish out that side there. Yeah. You want a hand with him or you're right? What's that leader? You're not a bad size. Hey? 40 pound leader. Yep. <laughs> Bit of fun, mate. He's still. Oh, sweet. He's a nice one. He's a good blue. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can put two on the deck. <laughs> it's always gonna happen. Always. Not the shallow pointer or the DD? Shallow. Little shallow pointer. 
A little ready gone, I reckon this will go. You put up a good tussle. Yeah. They do go hard when you get them, eh? Makes me want to throw my little light rod. Thank you, brother. Get out. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Look how fast he's swimming out of the boat. Uh -huh. oh, no. Hang on, don't touch it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh wow. How did I not lose that thing? <laughs> There's a heap of fish with him. That's not even a pussy drag either. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely foul hooked. <laughs> Another queenie about the same size as the last one. Hooked in the top of the back. <laughs> What's that? Fair in the dorsal fin. That's why he went off so hard. He's gonna be fun to get that out too. <laughs> Let's stay up there. I got him. Yep. Oh, you can stay in the water too, mate. I'll get these hooks out. There we go. There you go, mate. <laughs> it's all right. Better than a kick in the willy. <laughs> <laughs> On the top water in the front. <laughs> How good's that? There's a couple coming through on the inside there. It looks sizable. <laughs> Is it a blue? He's proper hooked in the fork of the tail too. It's a little G. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, he would have put up a way better fight if he was hooked properly. Yeah. You're right? Yep. Whew. <laughs> you ate it from the wrong end, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got the full current line here behind us. Here we go. <laughs> it's so fun. How is that the other thing that flew around the nose of the boat? I'm really surprised I didn't. Big direction change. <laughs> Good fun fishing. These little rods just flatlined. <laughs> Another direction change. 
What is this? It's not a thready, is it? No. Oh, it's another queenie. What's with foul looking fish today? <laughs> oh, come here, dog. Every fish has been foul hooked that I've caught. Get that head up out of the water. Stop twisting my line. <laughs> I'm trying to get his head up. There we go. Shh. Settle down. Double pinned. In the back of the head. Give me that. Give me that. Shh. Settle. Freedom. <laughs> so a little lure. A little Reddick SF90. Definitely about to pull the pin on this thing. We'll go and have a little snag bash, eh? That water, that clean water should be in the creek by now. Just gonna see if I can pin one in the dot first. Right, that's a little lure I'm gonna run there. That's a um, little kipper by Barney from Deep River Lures. Um, just got this the other week from Tackle World Townsville. I've just got it rigged up with a couple of number three BKK Vipers, number four rings. Then I've got about a metre and a half of uh, the stretchy fluoro stuff in that purple package you see me running a bit. Just running a little clip there. It's a 30 pound clip. So still testing these things out. So far they've been pretty good. And then I've just got that on me little 702. You've seen him a hundred times before and a little 100 HG Conquest. So I've got a P2, which is 30 pound in the Sunline Castaway there. So, should be plenty. And we're just basically going to sneak up in here on like sort of speed two and just cast it all the little cutouts. You've seen me snag bashing before. Pretty much doing the same thing, but uh, just with a different lure. So, got that motor on two and a half, nice and steady. And just keep an eye on that sounder looking for snags down deep. What are you throwing, Dave? Little pointer. Can't go wrong. Oh, of course. Nice looking bit of snag and a go and wreck it. Oh, twice. Don't do this to us this early in the piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fishing for drop bears, mate. Ugh. All right, we're back. You just turned him off? Yeah. You yeah, just keep it on and we'll just roll it. Let it roll, burn some batteries. All right, that tide's still slowly, slightly pushing in, so we should have a little bit of time in here to play. Been a long time since I've fished this little system, so all the snags will have changed. Hopefully, for better. That water colour's perfect. Set my drag from stun to kill. I really like all these little wispy sticks like that. This seems to hold a lot more smaller bait. Generally got get a few big decent fish hanging around it, so I'm always looking for that when I'm out. From memory there was a big tree out in the middle up here somewhere, but it was a while ago, so right there where that cut out bit of bank is. Nope, didn't feel it. Oh, casting's on point. What 
What's that? <laughs> GT, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not the target. Far from it. Oi, get away. Mate, I do want to let you go. <laughs> Little G. Nothing fancy, but we're catching fish. <laughs> it wasn't a little half ass bite either. Don't know how much hook he felt. Cod? It's gotta be. <laughs> Just hit like a slug. Oh no, finger. <laughs> Oh, get out of the water. Oh, bull shark. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't want that to happen to you. <laughs> I hope the camera grabbed that. Big bully just come up on him. He's just like, no. He's not a bad one. He definitely wanted that lure. That's for sure. It's pretty cool. Nice little fish. He's going to get some surgery. So, yeah, that finger died. That's all right. He was 40 centimetres, so he's big enough to to keep. Not that I wanted to keep fish today, but anyway, these things happen sometimes. I'm sure there'll be a jack on this snag. It's just a matter of getting it down into that area. There's another little bite. Definitely a decent bully hanging around. <laughs> be careful washing your hands today. Yeah. Yeah, that thing would take your hand off, eh? Mm. There's no nice releases here. In the... Oh, this thing's probably going to get eaten because he's not coming up. Another finger. <laughs> no. He's a little bit bigger too. I might even, since I've got one, I might as well keep two. There it is. This one's hooked a little bit nicer. That last one didn't survive the uh, surgery I had to go through, but even though he's only lip hooked, he's gonna come home with me. I'd say he's gonna probably be about 41, 42 centimeters like the last one. I'll quickly put him on the mat and he's going in the esky. <laughs> Cast there, man, there's heaps of fingers. Come here, mate. You can go and chill out with your mate. Settle. He's probably 45, this one. Oi. Got him. Got him. 40. 43, 44. That's alright. Sorry to do it to you, buddy. You're going with your mate. You need to wash your hands. This is where we're doing it. That's the leader that I've been running, just in 30 pound. It's going to tie real quick PR knot, and I'll be back in the game. All right, that's the knot there. You can see it on the um, back in the old days on my videos if you want to look for it. The video's called the FG Knot Sucks, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go full arm length and a little bit with that. Chop him off. Throw another one of these little clips on. So these ones are the 30 pound. And you got a couple left. They have been good to me so far, so I'm just gonna tie them on with a blood knot. Okay, pretty basic stuff. Four full rotations in the back side, back through to lock it off. And Davo's hooked up. Another finger. Watch out that bully don't get him. Send him straight onto the cast deck. <laughs> nah, look, I reckon he's... He's safe. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Good size. Not bad. 
my lure didn't float up. I was really holding hope that I was going to get it back. Whatever ate it was brutal. Very well could have been a barra. Pick him up. Oh, you tied that timber on and got one straight up. Yeah. Good work. Hold him up a bit higher. There you On that RTD. Nice, man. You going to chuck him back or yeah, chilly bin him? He's going home. He's going home. He's going home. I do think there's a few more fish on that snag. I just don't know what I'm going to throw at them. What have I got prepared? Oh, look. Look what we've got here. Old faithful, rightio. Just jumped out at me. Wants to go on. It'd be rude not to. <laughs> I'll be quick with that release if you're going to put him in or just flick him, bro. Dip. <laughs> That's not a bad turn. Hey. Just give me my timber back. I don't want, I don't want to throw that. No. I don't want to poke yours, bro. I just want mine back. It'd be that good if you catch a fish and it's got me lure in its mouth. I reckon we might have pulled them all off that, eh? That's three. I've stung about five. And my lure's in one. <laughs> We've got another little snag just up here to look at too, so very well could just keep cruising. It's just really hoping that lure is going to come back. That's the spot. Wow. <laughs> hey, I reckon that one was a jack to be honest. There's obviously a lot of fish in that. He was a lively one, that one though. And I reckon we proper fizzled that snag. Yeah. Let's um, get on the plane and blow these mozzies away. And then uh, go and have a little look up this other little section. Look at this thing. <laughs> Swap Dave, a <laughs> snap lock for a deep river. <laughs> it's the um, best trade I've ever done. I'm going to rig him up. A couple of size fours there, and a couple of size threes here. I believe they're threes. Mm, that's a small one. There's two different sizes hiding together in here. The bigger one. There's two big ones. That's what we want. All right, we're back in the game here. Thanks, Barney. If you're watching this, I need a couple more of these, please. Little kipper. P.S. P.S. Dave might need one as well. <laughs> Just make ten. Just make us ten. snap the pointer off i would like to keep fishing the pointer but I'm i was feeling this timber before i lost the last one so it's casting good oh. <laughs> this is going to be the jack surely no, it's a log. <laughs> oh man, he went hard. <laughs> oh, I jinxed today. It was going to be a jack the whole time. There was a jack in there. There was a jack on me lure, but then this guy stole it because I said it. Don't go that way. Go on, mate. Wonder. <laughs> what did I just say? I haven't seen a cod all day. 
That's all right. That was a good fight <laughs> for a cod. Oh. You see the line cut through the water? I've never seen a cod swim so fast. <laughs> Well, it's been a pretty good day anyway, even without a jack or a barra. Another log. Because <laughs> I said we haven't seen a cod today. Oh, done myself a mischief. Bit of a plop. Let's kind of make it a third one, I reckon. I've only got at least three cod in me today. Just gonna get complacent catching cod. Now I'm just gonna get railed by 50. He's gonna dust me on the leader. Crunch. <laughs> Get back in there. What's this? It's not a jack. It's not a cod. It's a jack. <laughs> this is a nice jack too. He's only barely. Oh no, he's cooked in the corner. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Barney. There you go, mate. I knew it was coming. He's not bad. I told you, you were supposed to get the barrel. Yeah, I was trying. I was going Yeah. Nice little Jackson. Only just pinned in the corner, too. You can see that Viper's just hanging in there. And they have to be, what, 42? Watch your, watch your hooks, them hooks bro. 42. They're close enough. Nice fish. He's, he's at least 42. I'll quickly get them hooks out and he can go back. Set, oh, didn't even have to get the pliers. Set up. <laughs> Here we go. It's coming under the head. Slide your hand back. There he is. Yeah, mate. No bull sharks, please. Go on. You're free. You're free, mate. Most placid jack I've ever caught. <laughs> now I just need the barra. Come on. No pressure. I haven't caught a blue salmon yet. Any fish we caught today? Heaps, eh? <laughs> that was the most lethargic jack bite I've ever had, I reckon. Get it, try and jig it more. See if you can get the lure rocking a bit more. There you go. It's just about getting it and moving, eh? Boy, I didn't just said I didn't catch a bluey yet today. <laughs> That's how you catch a blue salmon. <laughs> He's so green, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. <laughs> that just escalated so quickly. Oh, <laughs> that was funny as. Like, oh, what was that? That was a blue. 
was just saying I haven't caught a blue salmon yet today. Come on, mate. He's a nice fish. Not bad. Alright, 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 settle down. I was just having a feed. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Bluey. Get. Oh, Barney's using some grey primer these days, mate. <laughs> Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I was just watching, watching your lure come out. As it come out, I'm like, yeah, sweet. Let's get ready to keep fishing. And then I seen a boil. And I seen the fish there and I was like, oh, there's the blue. And then the big dog come and just smacked it. <laughs> it's cool. I'll take that. You know, you have a good day when your reel's just covered in fish slime and you didn't use bait. Oh, <laughs> you see all the mullet just come flying out then? What is it? Oh, GT. <laughs> oh, took a bit, but we got there. Savage animal. All right. All right. That's it. All right, that's us. We're gonna make our way out of this little system and uh, get back, back closer to the car before this tide drops out too far. So overall, been a bloody good, bloody good session. It's um. Bit disappointing not to catch a barra, but you can't really complain. We've caught fish everywhere we went today, so can't really ask for more than that. So we're going to make a little bit of a move, get out of here, and uh, if there's shreddies in the next spot, we'll give that a crack. And if not, I'll see you on the next video.